hope you're having a really good start to your week. I am really excited to do a July favorites video. This is one of my favorite videos to do and you know, I really am looking forward to August and all of the things that are going to take place there, but I had a bunch of exciting things that I found this month, so let's get started. Also, I'm going to be sure to link everything in the description below if you want to do any shopping, so definitely check that out as well. So first, I want to talk about this Tradline sweatshirt because I've been looking for something that is cozy, something I can always put on on top of anything I'm wearing, especially if I'm just around the house and stuff. I really needed a good sweatshirt for this this upcoming trip that I'm going on where I'm gonna have like lots of campfire time and stuff. So I just want to wear something that's a little bit cozy. It's been something that has been really good if I'm a little bit chilly inside or if it's like a chillier summer night and I think it'll be really good transitioning into fall. So this is actually like a terry fabric so it's pretty light. It's not like a heavy thick sweatshirt at all. Um, it just kind of feels like a long sleeve shirt but again it's just so cozy so it's like a varsity cut. You know one thing I've really realized why I love it so much is as a petite the sleeves actually reach exactly where they're supposed to they're not too long which is usually the case or too short so just been so extremely excited to have this and I found so many ways to wear it so far so a couple of Everlane pieces that I want to talk about First of all, the day heels I've been wearing almost every day this month. You guys have probably noticed if you watch these videos, I've been putting them with so many outfits and talking about them a lot. That's because they are really comfortable and they are casual to an extent for a heel. Like they are still very dressed up and they can dress up an outfit, but they're not too formal. They're not like stilettos or anything. You can just wear them and it just kind of preps up an outfit a little bit. So as far as comfort, a lot of people have been asking how comfortable they are can you truly wear them all day long well let me tell you about like how they fit my foot so I have a narrow foot and I got my true size which is six and a half I would say that after about two or three hours like I can notice that my feet are a little sensitive in spots I do think that these are a little bit roomy on me which is good because I think it's good for heels to be a little bit roomy because your feet swell throughout the day and you've got this cinched heel which just pushes your heel and your whole foot into the shoe a little bit more. So that's why I would suggest like if you put them on and they feel a little bit loose, that's really what you want. But yeah, I've been really happy with Everlane and anytime I've had to return or exchange, it's been super easy. So. No problems there. I think heels or shoes in general can be really tough to nail on getting the size right online. So this was pretty painless as far as the returns and exchanges go. So real quick, I just have to talk about how Everlane reintroduced their cropped tees. I had one white cropped tee that I got from them last year and I wore it all summer. I wore it through the fall, through winter, into spring and I'm so happy that they restocked them because I've had one t-shirt that I got for like 15 bucks and it's lasted me all that time. So I got a replacement white one and I would say that the fabric's a little bit thicker this time around than the one that I had. It was more like the Pima stretch hat. If you're familiar with Everlane, it, the Pima's like a lot thinner. So this one is a thicker one. And then I got the black one as well, which is just such another like classic color that I can mix and match with different pieces. And I've been really happy with the black one. I love to wear cropped tees, especially these ones, because they just feel flattering to me. They are really great for if you wear high-waisted pants. I wear a lot of high-waisted pants and so it just gives a really nice look and balance to my outfits. So next, this month, I was introduced to a new brand, which is Sisterhood. And when I saw their brand, I just was like in love because it's everything that I want my outfits to look like, but then it's also really affordable. They gave me a few pieces and this was one of them. So I wore this piece in one of my videos from last week. So you guys can check that out if you want to. But I just really liked this one in particular. Like I knew out of all of the pieces that this was my favorite. This is the Lolani blouse in the color coffee polka. So polka dots would be why. And I just think that the color is very vintage and beautiful. I felt like the polka dot is something that is still very organic. Like instead of having a printed on dot pattern, this one is more like scattered and just really unique. I would say that the fabric too is this 
almost textured ruffle type. And then of course the buttons on here are something that all of my sisterhood pieces do have, which is like this little dainty button. So definitely check that out on their website to get more of a closer view of that. But overall, this was a top that I feel was an essential in my wardrobe, something I can always own. That's one thing that the sisterhood brand does is they want everything that they make to be timeless. So a lot of their pieces actually look kind of like they're from the 90s, but you definitely could still see yourself wearing them for, you know, as long as you want to and for several decades even. So as I've mentioned, I have a vacation coming up and it's actually like a family vacation. I didn't want anything that was like too over the top, but I still wanted to be like the cool aunt. <laughs> So I loved this one swimsuit that Jean DeMoss was wearing. You know, she's obviously just so chic and put together all the time and still very like classy and feminine, like I could go on. But honestly, like she had this one bathing suit on in her Instagram feed and I went to go check it out, like to see where to find it, like the brand and everything. So I found it, it was Monday swimwear and I got one, but it took a while because once she wore it, it sold out. <laughs> so this is the leopard Bahamas bathing suit that is from Monday Swimwear. And this was the first time that I ever shopped from Monday Swimwear. They actually came, everything was really beautifully packaged. So it came in this beautiful, like white, minimal, reusable box that I could have. Even the whole experience of saying something like, any day that you're wearing a bikini on a Monday is a good day, <laughs> or something like that. And so I was just really pleasantly surprised by the whole experience with that. And that's pretty important to me, is like the brand experience. I liked that this was something that kind of like, you could pull up on your hips a little bit. I liked that it has like the spaghetti straps and it was really flattering up top, I felt like. Overall, like this wasn't like, I'm wearing a leopard print. <laughs> it was kind of still minimal and subtle. This was something that made me still feel like, I don't know, put together and like I'm excited to be on vacation. So that's kind of why I went with this and I'm super happy with it. I've also been talking online with you guys about this swimsuit because I shared it on my Instagram and then some of you guys bought it too. I think overall a lot of people felt like it has like good coverage on the butt but you could still like make it look just the way that you feel like it flatters you the most. And then also it's got like cups and coverage and stuff. So I found one more swimsuit for my trip and this is really like a fun thing to wear too. As far as one pieces go, this is having a lot of fun because it's got these little ties on the top. It is really nice because it's got this like scooped back which is really lovely. I'm working on my tan lines. <laughs> They're all over the place right now. One thing that was cool about this is that I don't have to worry about these coming untied because they're just an accessory, but they are sewn on. So you can't like remove the ties. I mean, you could probably if you took it to the tailor or just cut them off. <laughs> Overall, like this is something that was kind of unique. I felt like the ties actually gave a little bit more proportion to my body style and a vertical stripe is really good for petites as well. Especially if you feel like you want to lengthen your torso at all because this will definitely do that with the vertical stripe one piece bathing suit because that's all about the torso and making that look longer. So both of these bathing suits are actually really good because they cover up the butt really well, which I feel like there's so many bathing suits out there right now that are just like, this is the season of the wedge. <laughs> and so it's been kind of like challenging to find something that would be good around like family. So both of these ones did really well and I think that I'm gonna have a lot of fun. So moving on to like beauty stuff, I want to start out with a cleanser that I've been using, which is this Exfolicate Cleanser by Kate Somerville. So I've used Kate Somerville's products a lot in the past. Like I've used her Exfolicate, which is so amazing. You just have it as a scrub, you put it on in the shower, on your back or your face, and you do that like once a week. And that stuff is amazing. And I always keep that in my shower, but the cleanser was really fun to try. So it's supposed to be able to still have like the glowy effect, but it doesn't have drying effects at all like some cleansers do. It also has fruit enzymes in it. 
So that's gonna make it to where your skin is just ready and refreshed and ready to be able to like absorb anything that is supposed to help your face, like any moisturizers or toners that you put on next. So that's just something I've learned recently. I actually went and got a facial and that was something really cool because she was telling me about pumpkin enzymes and how that just like opens up everything and preps the skin. So that's what this cleanser has as well is like a pumpkin enzyme as well as some other fruit enzymes. So yeah, like anytime it's skincare, always do your own research. I'm not an expert in that, but I've loved Kate Somerville's products and I've been really happy with this one. Also a bit about my skin is I have like more oily skin and I still want to be like cautious about wrinkles and stuff so that's kind of where I'm at right now. So a toner that I've been using, this is really good. This one is from the body shop, it's called British Rose. It's Petal Soft Gel Toner and it actually has real rose petals in it from Britain. So this has been really fun to be able to just put on my skin after I cleanse and before I put on moisturizers. And I always am surprised whenever I use a toner how much makeup and debris is just still on my face any time that I've ever cleansed my face. And so having a toner has just helped me a lot to like balance my skin, make sure that I'm helping like any dark spots or anything like that. And this one has been very cooling. Like since it's a gel, I'm able to put it on a cotton pad or whatever and like blot it on my skin and it just kind of cools things down. So I've been really loving that so far. This next piece was actually in my purse video, so I can link that if you guys want to find like what's in my purse. That was a fun video to put together. I've been loving this Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm. So I've always tried like Burt's Bees and Chapstick and everything, and as someone who has just ridiculously dry lips all the time, even in summer, I'm just really ticked off. <laughs> so I've been using this one and I just love it so much. So it's supposed to be able to have four hours of moisturization and I think that's pretty true. Like obviously just like any lip gloss or lip product, it's hard to keep stuff on your lips, but I would say that my lips have felt moisturized for that long, definitely. I have noticed a big difference. The cocoa butter I've been learning a little bit more about and that's been really helpful too. So as you guys might know by now, I have been on the search for a better mascara. I really liked the Glossier one that I found last month for like an everyday look, but as someone who really likes to have like a full mascara look, I was really happy. Estee actually recommended this one, so I tried it out. This is the Lancome Monster Big Mascara, and I was just like really impressed because it does have just a really big voluminous, voluminous, <laughs> <laughs> look that has been really fun and also I've been looking for one that does not smudge because I tried the better than sex one and that was my only complaint with that one is that I just smudged a lot and I would tape a video and I get all like heated talking about clothes and then all of a sudden I've got all of the smudges down here and that was not cool. So I was really happy with this one. I now only put on mascara on the top lashes, lashes, not the bottom ones. And I've also been really happy throughout my day putting this on, like it doesn't leave me with a tired look after a few hours. So I've been just so happy about this and I can't share more positive reviews than this. Like I am completely obsessed with this mascara and I know when it runs out, I'm gonna buy some more. So finally, I wanted to talk about podcasts because there's one in particular that I've been listening to all month long, which is the Raw Milk Podcast by Beth Kirby. I've been following along on her local milk blog for a long time now, and just her beautiful photography has always caught my eye. And it's been really interesting to learn more about her and her own experience while she's been doing all of this. And her podcast has really opened my eyes to a lot of that stuff. So she's been interviewing a new person every single time about creative entrepreneurship. And so that's been really interesting because I feel like a lot of creatives, they have the same struggles and the same battles of, you know, different things like work-life balance or just feeling motivated or getting past a certain writer's block and aside from all of the logistics stuff so she really breaks all of that down and talks about those issues with these people and it's just been really great and inspirational it's been just like 
something chill to listen to at the same time, even though it's about like business and entrepreneurship, like those podcasts sometimes get really intense and I'm not always like ready to listen to an entrepreneur podcast, but this one has been like more low key and laid back and fun to listen to and relatable. I've just been enjoying that so much. Zach's been listening to it too and it's just been really encouraging and inspirational altogether. I like to listen to it too, like while I'm trail running, it's been really fun to just think about that and like what she's talking about than like how exhausted I feel. <laughs> so listening to podcasts has been something I've been doing lately while I've been exercising. Also, she's been talking a lot about different things like Instagram, YouTube, different social media and blogging. And so I think a lot of people on this channel who watch this, like you guys have your own Instagram and YouTube accounts and stuff. And so it's been fun to like listen to it for that too. And just think about those things because that's definitely her ball game. Yeah, it's been really inspirational. Okay guys, I hope that you had an amazing July so far and I just really am excited about what August holds, but it was fun to be able to talk about all of the things that really helped my life and I hope that if you pick up any of these things that you really love them too. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.